Hey everyone, I'm Bikas from Inspire Academy and welcome to another video on converting WordPress blog into an Android application. So in the last video, we extracted the data and displayed that into our recycler view, right? So now in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create the details activity and display the data of this post in details activity so that user can read the post and we'll also display the title in the, into the toolbar here. Okay, and we'll also enable the back button and so on. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me close all this. We don't need this right now. So I'm gonna create new activity. And obviously we're gonna select the empty activity and it's gonna have the name as details and create it. Now, whenever user click on the post we are going to open this details activity okay so to add the on click listener on the post details we need to do that in post adapter obviously so let me open this emulator and right now if i click on any of these posts nothing is happening okay so first of all we need to handle the click on this post so to handle the click on this post we need to do that in post adapter and if you remember we have this view variable available to us. So inside this on bind view holder, handle the click on post. Okay. So we can use the view variable that I have used and created. And here I can click this set. I can set the on click listener and new on click listener. And this anonymous class is going to handle the click on the post. And each time when user click on the post, it's going to trigger this on click method. And inside this, we can do whatever we want. Okay. So V, let me get the context, v.get context. And I'm going to just simply display the message post clicked right now, for now. Okay. So run this application, open here, and we'll wait for the few seconds to load the data. And once the data is loaded, if I click on this, it says the post clicked. You can see, right? Now, what we're going to do here is whenever the user click on post, we are going to open the details activity. So, you know, to create the new activity, we can create the intent. I new intent and intent is going to have two parameter. One is the from and to activity. So from is the current activity. So we'll just use get uh, v dot get context and the next is details activity okay and simply we'll start the activity so v dot get context dot start activity and we'll pass the intent okay this way it's going to open the details activity so let's see that in action. We'll wait for the data to load. And once the data is loaded, we we'll click on this and we are at the details activity. Okay. Now what we need to do is whenever we open, uh, there is several way to display the details of the post. And uh, generally what people does, what people do is they'll pass the URL from here the post URL and they just simply load that URL in web view in the details activity. But we are not going to do that. What we're going to do is we are going to send the title and the URL uh, content from here means from this activity, this post adapter.java file to our details activity and we'll display that there. So to send the extra data, we can use the put string method. So I dot put string or put extra okay and we need to give the title as the key and we will get the title and we can use the same all post dot get position dot get title to get our title of the post that is clicked by the user okay and similarly we will send the content so i did put extra and we'll send call it as content and similarly we will get the content 
okay and this way we can send this data to the main activity but what you can do is you can also send the whole object that is whole class object from here to next uh, activity and there you can extract the data but right now we are only interested in sending the title and the content so i'm just directly sending this from here so now in the details activity first of all we need to get this intent so intent let me call it data and we'll call get intent method and now our data contains all the data that is passed from the post adapter so string i'm gonna extract title first equals to data dot get string extra and pass the correct key here and similarly we'll extract the content and data dot get string extra and that is content right and now now we'll save the title so get support action bar dot set title and we'll just simply pass the title variable okay and now our details activity do not have anything right now so we need to display the content here so what we're going to do is we're going to add one text view here okay and we're going to make sure that it's going to occupy all the available space like that and let me give 8 dp of margin at the all side okay and let me set the id that is post content and now in the details start java here we're gonna go ahead and create the new text view variable find view by id r dot id dot post content and now contains dot set text and we will pass the content variable that we have extracted okay and now finally we need to enable the back button so get support action bar set display up as enable and make it true okay so let's run this application again and we'll see if this thing is working correctly or not so we'll wait for the data to load here and we'll click on this and you can see the data is loading but it is loading all the html and it is actually not displaying the data correctly but one more thing it is displaying the title and we do have the back button but our back button is not working so let's go ahead and fix that so to fix the back button so we'll override the on options item selected here okay and here we'll check if item dot get item id that is item is passed from here is equals to okay so here it is displaying all this data and it is not displaying the content right so what is happening here is actually if i go here and see the content you can see it is displaying all the html so my blog is having the content as the html itself so i'm gonna go here in android studio and i'm gonna parse the html and since i'm using I, i'm having the html I, I need to parse that so what i'm gonna do is instead of using text view i need to use the web view but remember we are not using internet to load the data that is we are not using any url to load the data we are just simply uh, getting the html formatted data and we are just formatting that to display into our web view so it is not using any internet and it's not going to slow down your application so from widget i'm gonna drag and drop the web view fix the constraint okay i'm gonna give the id as content view okay and let's go back to here instead of this i'm gonna create the web view okay so to parse the html content in web view we need to fix few things so first we need to uh, create the mime type and then we need to extract the data and we will parse the data to display in the web view okay 
So first we'll create the MIME type that is text and HTML. And we also need to set the encoding because we are uh, handling the HTML structure or HTML syntax. So we need to encode that to UTF-8. And now we can use content view and we'll load data with base URL. And we need to pass the base URL as empty because we are not passing any URL right now. And we need to pass the HTML data. So that is available through the content variable. And we need to pass the MIME type. We need to pass the encoding and the history URL that is empty as well. Okay. So now we are loading the base with loading the data with base URL using the web view variable. And we are passing the base URL as empty because we are not using any URL. So we are passing the HTML data that is we have gotten through this post adapter and we are passing the MIME type that we have set as text HTML. We are setting the encoding that is UTF-8 and we have this history URL that is empty. And now if I go ahead and run this application, we should be able to see the parse data into our details view. So let's wait for the data, data to load. And now if I click on any of these posts, it should display the post correctly okay and our back button is working as well yes now the challenge for you is to add these icons here and also extract the categories and display that in separate categories uh, activity and if you want me to do that let me know and if you want me to add uh, new pages for this contact us leave a rating post and everything i will do that in the next videos if you want me to but otherwise this is the end of this video series and i hope you learned something new if you did don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and show your support and i will see you in the next coming awesome lectures